I'm Laura Bartow from Studio One Stampers and I want to welcome you to the catalog kickoff. Today is finally the day where we can order the things from this catalog. What an exciting day. And what I've put together for you is a catalog kickoff class. Now, this class is a video class and the class is completely free to you. You can learn how to make all these wonderful cards. Now, if you want to also get the cards sent to you in the mail, all that you need to do is put in a $35 order and I will mail you the parts, the, the card stock, to make the cards that we're doing today. And if you want to put in a $50 order, then I will send you a second set using a different coloration of these same cards. And I'll show you those in a little while. But wait, maybe your list is even a little bit bigger. Maybe your list includes more than that. If it does, you can get the best deal that we have, and that is what we call our starter kit. You can get $125 worth of product, plus a free bundle. Those bundles are over $50, some $60, and all of that comes to you for $99 with free shipping. Oh my gosh, and I want to tell you the most exciting part about all that, besides a great deal, is that you get to be part of Studio One Stampers. Ah, talk to me more about that. I can't wait to tell you about it. Well, let's get started showing you how to make these fabulous cards. Well, here's the first card that I designed for you using the Tasteful Touches stamp set. And um, I'll show you where it is in the catalog. It's right here on page 124. And then the great thing about this is that it's part of a suite. And here's the whole In Good Taste suite. Um, the suite has both the stamp set and the framelits matching, as well as several other components that they add in for you, which are an embossing folder called um, Woven Textures or Textile, and then these cute little embellishments. These are the um, just wood embellishments, and there's 91 of them in this package. So fantastic. So those are a couple of things that are involved in the suite. And I want to show you a little close-up of the designer paper. This is an extra large um, package of designer paper. It has um, 24 sheets in it, 12 by 12. Um, of course, all double-sided. And it's um, really well-priced for that size as well. So beautiful designer paper. These are the framelits, and these are just a bunch of fantastic shapes and sizes. You can see that I've used a couple of them here. I used that one for um, the saying, and then I just turned this one and put that behind to give you a little bit of depth on that one. So yeah, and a couple of others that I've used as well um, recently is here's another couple of shapes that I layered here with that, and then here's one that has that shape but turned in the vertical, and then um, just a fun little shape to go around there. So those are just some other ways that these um, tasteful uh, textures um, framelits are used. So I'm going to set those aside and let's show you how to go ahead and make this card. So this is such a beautiful package of paper. Just get this out of the way for the moment. All right. Okay, so the first thing I want to do with this piece is to um, go ahead and stamp my background. I always like to have my card sitting right there so I know what I'm doing. Um, and you'll see today that I'm not actually using any of the, any of the in color inks um, because I can't order them till today, so I don't have them ahead of time. So I'm going to take this wonderful little pattern piece and put it up in that corner and then flip it around and stick it down in this corner as well. So I have sort of a symmetrical piece going. I'm gonna use this beautiful um, foliage piece in garden green, and um, I'm gonna stamp it three times without re-inking. I'm gonna just turn this so I can get this right in the corner. So full strength there, then again and again without re-inking. And so you can see it looks like I've used lots of different colors. I love this technique because it gives me so much more um, usage out of my inks. And so there I have a beautiful background so fast to put together already. 
Um, then I'm going to go ahead and layer this together. Um, this is a piece of the textured paper. I could use the other side, but this is just the side that I really want to use. Um, just tiny dabs of my green glue, which I really love the liquid glue. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my words. And I have those, and I'm going to be doing those in Memento. Just have a, an affinity for the Memento ink. And this says, just saying hello. So, see how that fits on there just perfectly. Ah, oh, yes. And then I have my flower. Now the flower I did hand cut, so it's not a framelit. Um, but I want to show you how I took that and made it look so much more lifelike. You can see how it, that's how it's stamped. And then by just taking a, a couple of my blends, this is Mango Melody. And this is the, let's see, it's a, it's a light one. And I'm going to use, well, either end works fine. And I'm just going to go in here and add some of the detail. And what I love is if I just follow these lines that are already in there from the artist, I can just add in um, a little bit of depth. It shows me where to actually put the color. I'm going to leave a little bit of the... Um, the, the paper to do the main part of the color and then I'm just going to take some pumpkin pie and this is pumpkin pie let's see if it's lighter dark it is dark pumpkin pie dark and um, I'm going to use the nib end and I'm just going to go ahead and color some of these little pieces in there I still want to add a little bit of highlight so by just um, letting some of that color um, from the paper come through in a few areas. It looks more three-dimensional. So there's my flower and you can see I just need to fold my cardstock um, with my imaginary bone folder and put that piece on here. Put this piece right in the center. Add my greeting and my flower. And there's just one more element I want to show you how to do. Um, this is our beautiful daffodil ribbon. And this element here, what I'll do is just um, pretty much fold over a piece like that and just tie a knot. So I have a knot tied here like that. So basically I have one end that's folded and one end that's straight. I'm going to grab my scissors and just go into that fold and add a line there and cut that off and then add a line or cut off this end as well and I have a really really cute little element that goes right there with um, a glue dot so how fun is that now what I want to show you also is here is the second coloration this is the card that you would also get once your purchase is over $50. So here's the one with $35, and then you would get both of these. So isn't this just beautiful in the um, petal pink and crumb cake? Just, um, and again, it's the same paper, but the wood grain tone in there. Just love these cards. Okay, let's move on to our next card. I have to close up my inks and move on. Okay. So the next card that I'm going to do features this beautiful, beautiful fern set, this fern paper. And I'm going to show you where that is in the catalog. I had to mark these so I could find out where they were. Forever Greenery, here we are. So here is the suite that's involved. And here again, you can buy the entire suite right here. Um, these are the papers. There are 12 double-sided papers. And then, um, whoops, right here is the stamp set. And you can see by the grayed out area, each one of those pieces has a framelit that, or a die that will cut out that shape as well as some of the extra dies. So let me show you um, what all of that looks like close up. All right, so here's our card that we're going to do today. Actually, this one is, sorry, this is the card we're going to do today. Um, and it's got the Just Jade um, in color right here as well as this paper. So it's the Forever Fern stamp set. And look at all of these great shapes. I've actually cut out a few of these cute little shapes here. You get this one. 
um, cut out from here's from some paper here and you also get this shape as well so just oh my goodness just beautiful beautiful shapes so shapes that just do paper and shapes that cut out your stamped images just a fantastic fantastic collection so let me set that aside for the moment and show you this gorgeous paper and anybody who knows me well enough knows that I absolutely love foliage and um, flowers and things and just look at how stunning this paper is just double-sided so many patterns and all in these different green colors look at all the greens that are included in here and if you're ever concerned about what green is what um, you can look in the catalog and they'll tell you which solid colors match um, this this set of papers so I love that they tell us that so let me set that aside and then let me bring back in the card and we'll just talk about how that's made um, we're going to be using the thick white uh, whisper white paper as our card base so here we are with that and I've scored it it's super important to score that when you're um, working with a thicker paper so you get a beautiful um, fold on there I really like to do that and then hiding inside this embossing folder do you remember this from the woven threads um, textured textured textile whatever from the last set anyway I ran that through the big shot and look at that beautiful texture that I get on there and that piece is going to go down right here now you can see I'm actually ran this through the die cut machine to cut that and here is my beautiful piece oh look at this look at how lovely this is it just comes right out of here now I'm not going to throw this away because I'm going to save it to put on my card so that piece is actually going to go right here and then the designer paper will cover that right up look at that it cover, covers it right up um, so that you don't see where I had cut that out and then I'm going to add my little greeting on here and tuck in this little fern so isn't that just a sweet sweet little card the sentiments all come from the stamp set um, so that's just a beautiful beautiful collection there and here is the other one I'm going to send you with a $50 purchase it's got a different you can of course use any of the greetings you want but I added these cute little foil um, pieces that are just die cut right from um, the die set so just added those in with another paper just beautiful so look at how pretty those are two together look at that and they look so different just love this card all right well that's two of our cards for today's class oh and I forgot to tell you that I stole this little piece right from the um, the tasteful textures frame uh, die set so that we just looked at on the last card so that's just another way to use that so we'll put that together with that set so all right now we're ready to move on to our third card and here it is here's our third card um, this one is using the ornate garden set and it stands up like that and it's got some pretty ribbon on it and let me go back and find my catalog and show you where that all is in the catalog here ornate garden here we go oh what a beautiful spread this is a fabulous fabulous spread and what's wonderful about it is that there are actually two stamp sets and two sets of dies that are part of this collection um, today we're going to be using this collection with the flower and all the frames and then you can see that's here but we also have all the edges um, from this stamp set this stamp set has um, all these cute edges that go in there so a fantastic collection and of course you can get all of the stamps all of the um, dies as well as the gorgeous paper um, combined um, with a, a bundle here as well so I love how they've done that for us so ooh, just a stunning stunning collection wait till I show you how beautiful this paper is so this paper oh goodness it is so beautiful let me get a few of these pieces off of here so you can just see how gorgeous this is of course you know if you love flowers wow 
And look at this. Can you, can you see the gold on these? Um, several of these are, are embossed with gold. Um, so this makes this a specialty set of paper. Just absolutely stunning. All right, let me just put that paper out of the way. Um, and let's get back to making the card. Okay. So here we are. Here is our card. And um, what I've done is I've taken this die out of the set, and I should probably show you what that die set looks like. Here it is. Oh goodness, look at all of these shapes, all of these beautiful, beautiful frames and stitched and oh, just stunning. And this one I took out of the set um, to show you uh, for that project. And um, I've gone ahead and die cut that. And um, I'm using my take a pick tool because I like to put on this end um, just to get out the pieces. And you can see when I just run this over top of here that um, so many of these little pieces just fall out easily. And then I can pull this out. And then if there's a few that have hung on, I've got my pointed tip end and I can just point, get out the rest of these little, these little pieces. Um, when I need to do that. So super easy way. I love this. And then just take this and throw this on your floor. It's great for your vacuum cleaner. Okay. Or not, depending on how you run life. So um, what I've got here is, again, I've got the um, Whisper White Thick, and I have scored it here. So I'm doing a fold at the top. Um, this piece is just going to get tucked in here. And this is... Um, a little strip. I have so many of these little half inch strips and I just love ways that I can use them to just accent things. This is our bumblebee um, in color right here and all I need to do here is to do a quick um, stamp on my white part and this is that beautiful little um, flower so that fits of course perfectly in there and I'm just stamping it in espresso and then I have a couple of markers. Um, I've grabbed daffodil, I've grabbed um, terracotta tile, and um, mint macaron, which are, of course, colors right from the designer paper because, well, of course, that's what I would do. And I'm just gonna color with daffodil. It might be a little wet to be doing this, so if I smear a little bit, you know that I just don't have the patience to wait. Oh, it looks like I'm doing okay. Um, I try not to, I try to give this ink just a moment to dry before I color on it. And I do the macaron. And what you can do with this, if you just color in the direction of the leaf, you can get it darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. Um, another great trick for coloring in is instead of just coloring in this whole center, I'm just going to follow what they've told me to do and add dots in adding a few, just leaving a few of those white things showing up, and that just makes it look like it's three-dimensional. So just super quick ways to do that. And so here's our piece to go on there. And of course, a little piece of terracotta tile ribbon to go on there. Um, this is also part of the Ornate Sweet Bundle. It's these two ribbons in old olive and terracotta tile. Oh, they're so light and they tie beautifully. So you won't want to forget, you want to make sure that you get those on your wish list as well. Um, and then here, here is the next one I want to show you. This is the second set, um, same basic card. Um, here, I should show you this one that's glued together because they always look prettier glued together. Um, the second one that's glued together. Um, so anyway, just this is the second one. This one comes with your $35 purchase. And this one as well will also come at your $50 purchase. So just such pretty, pretty cards. All right. Ornate Sweet Bundle. Okay. Are you ready for our last card of today? Um, here it is. Look at how sweet that is. It's just a little mama bird looking into her nest. Um, and I want to show you what that comes from. Of course, you know it's a bundle because, oh, I love bundles. And this is the birds and branches. And look at all these great shapes that come in here. We've got a little texture for the edge, the nest, and the eggs cut out, and the birds cut out, as well as the ones I've already taken out of here. So a wonderful, wonderful suite there. Um, I've also grabbed another set here, um, and this is a grandkid, and this is about grandparents, and of, for many of you who know I have the most adorable 
adorable three-year-old and so he's going to get this one that says so smart so fun so sweet so wonderful and inside it'll say we must be related so just thought this was the cutest set so that's where my greetings come from for this card because this card doesn't have greetings so i wanted to pick this one to go with that um, so these are the in colors this is our misty moonlight and our bumblebee paper here i wanted to show you what that designer paper looks like um, it's six by six Oh, and that's just so easy to use in the 6x6 six six size. Um, I feel like I can cut it easily. I can do things with it. it. makes a great little piece on a card front. Oops, here's the rest of it. Look at all these great pieces. So these are our in colors. So our cinnamon cider and our magenta madness and bumblebee and midnight, our misty midnight and our just jade just fantastic in colors and of course you know those in colors have these beautiful ribbons that all go with them um, so yeah just awesome and then here's the solid colors that all go with all this so just a fantastic collection and the inks are available now as well um, do be patient with the company um, we are experiencing some back order issues and of course that's because our suppliers um, are struggling a little bit with with the, with the, uh, the pandemic and so we'll get things to everyone as quickly as we can but you know just so just be patient um, with the company so here is the piece that I die cut out of the um, the misty moonlight and you can see how pretty this piece is and look how that comes out it's just this beautiful little um, piece there and I put a strip of the bumblebee designer paper there a little greeting and my bird I stamped that in um, early espresso and, and um, crushed curry to pull that apart there and I wanted to show you how I put my nest in place so my nest is this cute little stamp here it's a clear stamp so I can see exactly what I'm doing um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stamp directly on the front of the card in crumb cake. Um, so I have to kind of really know where I'm going to stamp that. So the way I like to do that is ink this up. I like to sort of hover over the spot that I think it's going to go and then gently pull away the top piece and stamp it. So that way I have that um, pretty well put exactly where I want it to be. And now I want to add the little eggs. Now you could cut these eggs out and put them in a different spot um, in the nest, but I'm just going to pop them right here because I want this mama bird looking at her little eggs. And so when that goes together, um, we'll just put this on top, put that together like that, this over here. And just, I'm going to just tuck my mama bird in under these little things, put dimensionals on her, and there she is, surveying her little brood, ready to hatch. So such a fun little card. Here's the other one, the second version. Um, here we are, and we've got a little bit of the Cinnamon Cider Designer Series paper in here, and um, a diff just a different coloration with that. So there we are with our four cards. Let me see if I can bring in all four cards so you can see what they look like. So here is this one and I should have done a better job uh, not just like tossing them everywhere but here we are. One, two, three and then one more over here. So here's the fourth one. So here's a picture of all four cards that are in this class and then I'll put next to them the alternative choice um, with a different color right next to them so you can see what you would get um, with a $50 purchase and one more oh here it is there it goes and again if you have a long wish list which oh my goodness how could you not um, you really want to think about that um, starter kit deal it is the best deal in our catalog and you will not um, be disappointed with um, all the great, great benefits there are from being connected with Stampin' Up. Anyway, I hope that you love this catalog as much as I do and have a fabulous, fabulous time stamping.